Andy here, back with another video. This is a little mail day video. Um, I believe I have some SP on SP cards that are going to be players that are pre presented with a possible alpha opportunity on their team this year. And with the right production output in a big enough market, and if they're young, they still have uh, a potential Hall of Fame trajectory to their career that makes them a great investment for a nice little sp on sp short print on short print card so let's see what we got let's dig in dude who's ready for some football right hall of fame game tonight pittsburgh steelers dallas cowboys at the hall of fame stadium in canton ohio i think we're gonna see Najee harris let's dig into this mail let's see what we got we're recording here recording there recording everywhere <laughs> All right, guys, I appreciate your support. Thanks to you that um, the mail day video from last week has over a thousand views and almost a hundred thumbs up. So I cannot thank you guys enough for all your support. Let's see what we got in this first package. Got the bubble wrap, got some scotch tape, but it's only on the bubble wrap right now. So that's good. I can see a little field level. Looks like a little field level in there. Man, so okay, we got more bubble wrap. This is a little bit excessive. Someone really took their time wrapping this one up. Like, wrapped, wrapped it up. All right, all right, I'm seeing somebody I like. Oh yeah, baby. Field level silver gang, where you at? This is a Gabriel Davis, a field level silver rookie card from 2020. I love Gabriel Davis uh, last year. He had some incredible toe tapper plays. He was a red zone threat. Um, he's a big wide receiver. I mean, pretty big, like pretty good size, like 6'1, 210, and um, solid, man. Really good spatial awareness. Like, he's really good at catching some, you know, corner of the end zone, red zone, uh, sideline catches, deep threat, intermediate threat. Uh, check, I'm checking out the corners. I'm looking very closely at the corners. And then I hold it at different light angles to see if I can see anything surface imperfection related. And I don't. So this looks really clean. You see the little prism text on the... So this is definitely a card that I would consider getting graded because of his age and his position on one of the most powerful teams in the NFL. This is a great pickup. I, 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 I want to say I got that for less than 20. I think that's a good a good deal. Potentially in an auction if you can get him for like 10. I mean, it's a pretty scarce card. That's, that's up there with one of the scarcest um, silver cards from 2020. So when we talk about investing in 2020 athletes, absolutely love field level silver as an investment target. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Yeah, one of my little Daryl Henderson pickups. Optic Hollow. And I believe I got this for under $5. That's how cheap it was. And this card from 2018 has a pretty good gem rate. Um, and we know he's gonna, it's going to be a little bit of a running back by committee in Los Angeles. But it's Los Angeles. And it's a Sean McVay offense with Matt Stafford this year. Which, by the way, he's back at practice fully. He did hit his thumb on a, uh, another teammate's helmet. But he is back. Um, and uh, Daryl Henderson is going to split some time with Xavier Jones and Jake Funk, but he's going to be the go-to RB1 in this card from 2018, uh, 2019. Excuse me, 2019. This 2019 optic. If you look at the statistics David Hunter pulled about gem rates, this has got this is going to be a 90% gem rate, and you can see that the centering is good. You can see the corners and looking at the edges and the surface at different lighting. Now there may be a little dimple on this thing, and I can't see it. I have to take it out, but Overall, really pretty card. I love the Optic Hollows from 2018-2019. Um, great card. I dig it for under $5. That's that's a really good pickup, in my opinion. Uh, investment pickup. Flip pickup. Let's see what we got. So this is, this is your standard eBay packaging right here. This is how I package most of mine. Painter's tape on the cardboard. And let's see what's inside the cardboard. Ooh, a base field level, but it's Justin Jefferson. And this uh, top loader taped up with painter's tape. That's standard as well. And let's see. Let's take this sucker out. 
Because this, you can see there's like a, been a little bit of, uh, I don't know if that's that's moisture that causes that on the inside of the penny sleeve for it to stick. But you can kind of see that penny sleeve is all kinds of wrinkled and stuff. But then you pull the card and you look at it at different light angles. Really let that light catch it like for you guys on this phone it'd be kind of like right around there you see how that bottom left corner you can really see if there's any kind of scratches or dimples and that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for little like right there you see that wave just above his name right there you see a little tiny dimple i think that's something that would cause it from jamming out getting a 10 um so this is a card that you know i would be interested to take a picture of this scan it front and back Take a picture and then upload it to fgscards.com as a scan. And look right here on the back as well. Right. You can't see it. There, there you go. Right there. See where the ring is at? The light ring? Look at that. See those little tiny, look like little dimples on the back actually. So that might ding it. Yeah, those are surface imperfections right there on the back. So that's the kind of fine-tuned, fine details that you want to look for when considering cards to be graded you have to hold it at different light angles and look at the entire card not just corners if the corners are sharp and the centering looks good and the edges look sharp that's one thing but it's a whole nother thing to have no surface imperfections uh, no print lines no dimples no scratches no none of that so Ooh, yeah, baby. Another one. I love this pickup, man. I'm so bullish on this guy. You know, going in the first round now of most people's fantasy drafts, probably on the back end of the first round. But he's going to have a workhorse size opportunity share. Washington football team offense with Fitzmagic, McLaurin, and Curtis Samuel, Deami Brown. But look at this. So I'm looking at this one. Look at the light ring just, just above just in that light ring you see that dimple in the swirl right there on the tip of my finger that's gonna hurt the grade on this one now this one could still get a nine i mean it looks great otherwise but that's the kind of stuff that's hard to see on ebay you know so you have to take that into consideration and then you know that kind of stuff is hard to see but i think i would have got i got this for very cheap so overall I'm, I'm happy with the purchase if I got this for under $20 because of his age and athletic ability. Um, and a pretty good market size. they got a good fan base in, in Washington, and they're definitely ascending this year. They're expected to do big things, and he's expected to be a huge part of, of the offense. So let's see. This is an okay penny sleeve, or I'll just grab a new one. I got my card. You guys do, guys. I'll show you something like these. So these are semi ridges, the card savers too. But, uh, dude, I get so nervous putting my cards in these because they're they're like kind of tight. And I don't know if maybe I should have got, but like already I'm having to touch too much of the card in my opinion. And, and like whenever I'm putting it in, I almost feel like I have to be very... Like this makes me nervous and now I'm like kind of pressing on the top edge of the card and then if it goes in kind of sideways like that you kind of have to pinch the sides and kind of shimmy it in there but I don't know if I'm doing like a little bits of damage to the corners on the bottom something that I'm researching and the the fortunate thing is though that pure graded X is fine with a top loader or a semi rigid like this so be right back got somebody calling me all right, so we just put the AG Silver field level in the card saver. Got it in there, but those card savers are a little scary, man. I'm not going to lie. 8 p.m. tonight, Fox Hall of Fame game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we got in here. Another Com C purchase. Uh, I've been able to find some really good deals of Com C, and what I like about buying the Com C off of eBay is I can get them here have the flexibility to do with them what I want. Um, ooh. Yeah, dude, that's a, that's a pretty good color match. I got these because these were super cheap. I was like, I couldn't believe um, for a parallel, color parallel of the 2014 Prism, 
is is a really nice design by the way i just love 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 the 2014 prism design but alan robinson doesn't need much explanation there absolute stud uh, has been able to play with virtually any quarterback and be an alpha on his team dominant producer um would be a hall of famer if he was you know on a on a winning team with a, a good quarterback so we'll see what happens this year in chicago would love to uh, hopefully andy dalton's an upgrade uh from nick Foles, but uh, he's aging and uh, i don't know they said he's looked pretty good in camp so far but i love to see justin fields end of the day that's what i'm trying to get to i'd love to see justin fields these these look really clean i thought this was on, on the computer it looked orange so i was thinking color match to the bears um, but when I'm looking at this at all angles, I see a little, like a little smudge right there on the right. You see right there on the, on the right next to my finger. Uh, so I see that that might hold it back from getting a 10, not numbered, but this is a short print, short, short print of the 2014 prism, which is already going to have a lower print run as is compared to, you know, 20, 2020, or even going all the way back to 2016. It's just kind of. As more people got into the hobby and stuff, they just kind of panini increased their print runs and the parallel numbers and the set release numbers uh, is really a, a, a big way how they how they increase print run too. So, but this one looks really really clean. I'd love to get this slabbed up with an orange matching slab, maybe with a bear on it in the background. Um, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. So yeah, but for the price, for like ten bucks really happy with that purchase look at these back in a sleeve i put it in the um card saver but it takes up oh, you guys don't want to sit here watch me put cards in a card saver <laughs> you know what i'm saying and uh i, I gotta take my time with it because they make me really nervous i don't know if there's a better way if there's like a trick to it please let me go please let me know guys and i'll share with everybody but as of right now that's that's how I know how to do it. <laughs> so, let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, man. And and uh, man, I forgot who shared it with me, dude. Um, having a brain fart right now on who shared it with me. But AJ Dillon has got his own um, breaking. He does his own breaking breaks on Instagram and maybe whatnot and maybe some other social media platform. Uh, I have to go back and look. It, it is Dylan's deals on Instagram. I'll have to go back and look and throw up who reminded me. Dude, it's on the tip of my tongue. Hmm. I love that select field, that select silver. And so, yeah, so his relevance in the hobby is way more than probably any other football player. And plus, he's a linebacker lined up as a running back. And he never skips leg day. And he's on the Green Bay Packers. And Aaron Jones is getting older. Um, you know, so I think he's going to get more opportunities this year with no Jamal Williams, period, whether Aaron Aaron Rodgers is playing or not. And now we know Aaron Rodgers is playing for Green Bay. So I like that for A.J. Dillon. I like all the reasons um, that I just mentioned to invest in A.J. Dillon, especially why he's still cheap. I mean, he could become so popular in uh, the card in the hobby itself that his cards become uh super valuable so very nice um optic hollow traquan smith who is definitely getting a promotion this year it's going to be really interesting to see how the quarterback workload shakes out between Taysom hill and Jameis winston because Man, Jameis Winston could really push the ball down the field and is not going to tuck the ball and run as much as Taysom Hill and be as much of a game manager. You know Winston's going to take more risk. He's going to push the ball down field, and that would fit perfectly with Traquan Smith's strengths of stretching the field and uh, creating uh, target separation. Um, but with Michael Thomas likely, definitely going to miss time. Definitely going to miss time this year. It's um, It's open season for Traquan Smith to kind of take over as the number one wide receiver at this point. Let's see where are we at 537. This blue one looks promising. Let's we'll see what we got in here. Optic Hollow, man. That 2018 Optic Hollow just looks so nice. It's um, definitely one of my favorite targets. 
for for 2018. And you noticed in 2021 Chronicles, the the um the rated rookies have that that curved design there on the top to them. And I think that looks really good with the rated rookies and the optic hollows. Uh, Chargers, it says Chargers. Is this a? I don't remember what purchase this is. Maybe a Keenan Allen. Ooh, is this my Keenan Allen? Oh man, I'm excited about this. Might be a really nice SP card to end on right here. Let's see what we got. This might be one of my snipes from National Weekend. I think it is. From National. Yeah, it is, baby. Keenan Allen X Fractor. I picked this up for like $15. Oh man, so 2013 rookie is going to be the alpha dominant wide receiver in the Justin Herbert, Brandon Staley, Los Angeles Chargers offense this year, ascending offense. And just look at those little X Fractors, man. The X Fractor everywhere is so sick, dude. So sick on this card. I think it's got tons of eye appeal, tons of collectability. It's short print. It's a rookie card, Keenan Allen's rookie card. Market, he's got the production level. Um, he's about mid-tier on the Hall of Fame marker list, but you gotta think if, if they could really start winning out in Los Angeles, and you know he's gonna be a stat monster this year with Justin Herbert, so. And l looking at the, the corners and the edges on this card, it was like a no-brainer to me. The seller even was like, oh, I hope you don't mind, I listed the card wrong, I put the wrong number on it. Um, but I'm like, you have the card that's in the picture, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I have the card that's in the picture. Do you still want it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I want it. I only paid like 15 or 16 bucks for this card. I think that's such an incredible deal. And look at that. I mean, it looks, this card looks flawless. So this is a card I want to take a picture front and back, send to FGS cards, uh, just upload it. Takes, dude, like I showed you guys, takes only uh, a minute or two. And then you'll get an instant report of what the grade is. And for 15 bucks, you get 48 scans. I mean, you get three free, but I use those real quick. Um, so, perfect place to stop it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the game tonight. I'm about to go crack a, a cold one here in a few and enjoy it myself. And I'll be back real soon. we got a lot of work to do here. Shop will be open in the morning. We'll get to it. Peace. supplies all right boom i don't remember which was this i try and keep them in chronological order from when i bought them so that i can open the oldest ones first but it doesn't always work out that way What's up, guys? Welcome or welcome back to the quest. I think we're going to see some ooh, exciting Ben DiNucci at quarterback for, for Dallas, but um, it'll be interesting. We're not going to see much of the, the first string offense, but we are going to get a look potentially at Najee Harris and some other rookies um, and just overall excited about football action. So tonight at 8 p.m. on Fox, looking at that. Shine. 